Hi, it's Andrea from Club Sci Kids, and I'm ready to do the activity with you today. Today, it's very simple. All you need are a couple of toothpicks, a cup of water, a surface to work on, and a pipette. You probably don't have a pipette or an eyedropper, so you can also use a straw. What we're going to do today is we are going to use the, the um, toothpicks and form a star. But really all we're going to do is prepare the materials and then we're going to let science and water make our star. So the first thing that we need to do is each of the toothpicks you need to break in half, but you don't want to separate them, you just want to break them enough so that they're still connected. So go ahead and break all five of your toothpicks. Once you have all of your toothpicks broken, you are going to um, take them and you're going to set them like so, so that it almost looks like it forms a star, but they're not really going to be touching um, on the inside. So this is pretty much what you want. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your pipette, or if you don't have a pipette, you're going to use a straw. The way you would use a straw is you would just place it in your cup of water. You would put your finger over the top. That would create a vacuum. It'll suck up some of the water. Then you bring it out um, and you use it the same way. So if you do have a pipette, you're going to, or you're going to carefully, or with your straw, you're going to drop drops of water inside your star. You want to try to make sure that you keep it so that the water is all inside of the star. I'm going to do about a whole dropper full. Now what we're going to do is we simply are going to wait. So let's check back in a couple of minutes. At this point, you're just going to let your star do what it does and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. You can see here it's been about five minutes. You can see that the star has totally opened up. So I'm sure you want to know how this star became a star pretty much by itself. It has to do with the fact that toothpicks are made of wood and the wood is dry. Once we started to add the water to the wooden toothpicks, the wood started to absorb the water. It absorbed the water through different properties of both the wood and the water. The properties of water have to do with cohesion, which is where the molecules are attracted to its own molecules, and also adhesion. The other way that the water is absorbed into the wooden toothpicks are through capillary action. It's the same way that the water goes up the roots um, of a tree. So as the toothpicks start to absorb the water, the toothpicks start to unbend and then push off of each other. And then that's how you have the star. So we hope that you enjoy this activity and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.